In this video, we present the solution to question number 12 from practice exam number one for math 1210. We're asked to find the inverse function f inverse of x, uh, given f of x equals negative 2x cubed over x cubed minus one. Uh, inverse functions only exist for functions one to one. You do not need to show that this is thing this is one to one. You may just assume it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our function f of x. So f of x equals negative two x cubed over x cubed minus one. Now the inverse function has the relationship that it's gonna reverse the rules of x and y. So it might be helpful instead to use the symbol y right now. So y equals negative two x cubed over x cubed minus one. And so this is a formula given for the function f right here. Now to switch to the inverse function, f inverse there, we're gonna swap the rules of x and y. So this y is gonna become an x and these x's are gonna become y. So we get negative two y cubed over y cubed minus one. Now we need to solve for y in this process. So to do that, since I have a y in the denominator here, I'm gonna times both sides of the equation by y cubed minus one, thus clearing the denominator. So these are gonna cancel out on the right-hand side. So we're gonna get x times y cubed minus one is equal to negative two y cubed. Um, at this moment, many students go down the wrong path of dividing both sides by negative two and then taking the cube root so that you get y equals on the right-hand side. So, and yes, when you have to solve an equation for y, you do want to get y equals on one of the sides, but you have to first combine all the y's together. If there's a y on the other side, you didn't really solve for y yet. All right, so what we need to do is we need to combine together the y's. Now, to accomplish that, I need to free up the y, which in, is imprisoned inside of these parentheses right here. You can do that by distribution. Distribute the x through, which case we're going to get x times y cubed minus x. This is equal to negative 2y cubed. I now want to combine together the y's that are separated. So I'm going to add 2y cubed to both sides. And I'm going to add x, so then only the multiples of y are on the left-hand side of this equation. So we get x times y cubed plus two times y cubed is equal to x. Now at this step, sometimes we get a little bit confused, but you'll notice that everyone on the left-hand side is a multiple of y cubed. As such, we could factor out the y cubed, and this will then give us y cubed times x plus two is equal to x. You'll notice that by factoring, I actually got all of the y's together. Next, we need to get rid of the so-called coefficient of the y cubed, that is divide both sides by x plus two on both sides. So we end up with y cubed equals x over x plus two. And then the last thing to do is to take the cube root of both sides. We end up with y is equal to the cube root of x plus x plus uh, x over x plus two. Now at this moment, we're not exactly done, right? We, we, we solve for the formula, but it asks for f inverse. Where on the screen does it tell you what f inverse is? It's uh, So you actually need to answer, make sure you answer the question, label it correctly. And so that could be an easy fix. If I just relabel the last part, f inverse of x, this is equal to the cube root of x over x plus two. So we need to actually label who is f inverse. Don't just, don't just leave it for the greater to assume uh, because the, the greater is to infer nothing, right? You need to tell the greater what the answer is. So make sure you do clear the label, F inverse is this.